Several beaches around Green Country remain closed tonight because of E. coli contamination still in the lake water. Health department labs are busy testing water samples to protect swimmers. 10 News reporter Joe Hinke stepped into the Tulsa County Health Department lab today to show us how scientists test for E. coli. Well, Karen, the Tulsa Health Department tests water from beaches around Oklahoma, including Lake Tenkiller, where park rangers closed three beaches this past weekend due to high E. coli levels. Today, microbiologists started testing new water samples to see if those beaches can soon be reopened. Um, incubating in here are some um, a variety of E. coli test samples. In packages called Quantitrays, waiting to be tested. Put it under a UV lamp. And microbiologist Lindsay Walsh can tell how much E. coli is in a water um, sample. This particular sample is, is very much fluorescing. There's quite a bit of uh, bacterial growth. Taken Monday from one of Lake Tenkiller's closed beaches, Walsh counts the bacteria by adding up what are called colonies of E. coli. 107 colonies. Meaning E. coli is present, but... Water is safe. Um, the cutoff limit is 200 colonies. Um, per 100 milliliters of water. But one sample, not enough to reopen a beach, as samples from other areas at the same beach must also show safe levels. With E. coli becoming an issue at Lake Tenkiller, next season or next year, the story could be different. It's a natural um, ebb and flow. Certain seasons are different than others as far as the amount of E. coli because the conditions change. Um, just like some years we have issues with um, mosquitoes more so than others. With the source of the E. coli still unknown, Walsh says the E. coli at Tenkiller could have come from animal waste, a sudden increase of swimmers at the lake, or just something else altogether. But just as naturally as the E. coli comes, the bacteria will disperse, die out, and we can go back to swimming. At which point Walsh says swimmers should have no worries. I also learned today they collect the water samples and start testing within 24 hours. The entire process can take three to five days. We should get the latest results for 10 Killers Beaches by Friday. Joe Hankey, 2 News, works for you. Thank you, Joe. Now, E. coli remains a problem at a popular Grand Lake campsite. Bernice Beach still closed to swimmers. Tests now showing where the contamination is coming from. Biologists blame geese and other infected birds. The problem is it's still not safe to swim, so they're planning on keeping the Bernice area closed for weeks and possibly even months. It's going to stay closed as long as these, these levels stay elevated above what's the safe range for human contact. So for the time being, we're just going to continue to monitor every day. The GRDA wants everyone to know there are plenty of other areas at Grand Lake where it is safe to swim and enjoy the water. 